So today we've got the all new 2017 DaVinci Hatchet Altegra Carbon. There are three carbon models available for 2017 uh, to add to the three existing aluminum models. Uh, this one sits in the middle of the lineup with uh, Shimano Altegra. We've got the Altegra Di2 model just above this one and we've got the Shimano 105 model just below it. Uh, again with a 2x11 drivetrain. Uh, the DaVinci Hatchet is basically a super compliant frame in that I mean that uh, it's going to basically offer you flexibility where you need it, stiffness where you need it. They have made the rear triangle more acute, uh, thusly lowering the seat stay. This just allows for the seat post to flex back a little bit more as impacts are taken. So what ends up happening is your weight is on the saddle and the whole uh, seat post itself gets to flex back a little bit. So just making the ride a lot more comfortable. You know, going to a disc brake, you get to now remove the brake arch, which used to be here, which actually broke up the overall length of the seat stay. Um, so now that you have a greater distance from axle to seat mast, um, you can actually uh, increase the distance and make the, the seat stays a little more flexible. Um, so just overall, it just makes the ride a lot more comfortable. So with the hatchet carbon models and aluminum models, the rear end got a bit of a boosting. So we've gone to a 135 mil axle spacing in the rear end. This is to accommodate the 11 speed in the back, the disc brake, and just overall giving the rear end a wider stance for more stability. The way DaVinci has set up the drivetrain is something reminiscent of uh, touring bikes, uh, some cyclocross setups. So you're getting the 2x11 Altegra class, a 5034 compact ring up front. This is going to allow for really effortless climbing on the 11 to 32 range in the back, which again is, is a pretty wide range for a road bike. Um, and we're seeing a medium to long cage derailleur hanger um, on this as well. So all of these coupled together are going to give you excellent climbing ratios um, and you're still going to get some decent flat speed ratios as well. Brakes and drivetrain on this one are pretty much full Altegra uh, with addition to the uh, the BRRS805 hydraulic disc brakes. You pretty much get a XT rotor on there as well. The hydraulic cable for uh, the front disc brake, it just really flows nicely through the fork there. Wheels for the carbon hatchets this season will be handled by Mavic exclusively. We're gonna see the Axiom disc all roads on the 105 model and the Altegra model. Um, and then of course the Altegra DI2 model uh, will be getting the Cerium Elites. We're in the video! We're in the video! Yeah. Hey! Oh, I know. <laughs> RSL uh, comes with a pretty much a full XT build. Uh, that's the newest uh, Shimano Dior XT. Um, so we're basically getting uh, brake, rear derailleur. It's the new 1x11.